Hello, and welcome to another Learning Has Changed CarCast. My name is Ben Wilkoff, and today I want to talk about something that uh, struck me over the weekend that I'm not sure has ever occurred to me, um, but I think may be important. So I want to talk about it. So this weekend, <laughs> I was thinking about uh, just how many times over the last few months or weeks I have heard uh, that there are so many teachers. So many teachers in you know my district, Denver Public Schools, or in other districts, and that it is sort of this colossal effort to move all of them to a place. Like that there is some outcome that is beneficial for all teachers, and like moving everyone is like really, really difficult. And it's sort of uh, a mentality that I've heard a lot, and um, this weekend, it occurred to me that we're maybe thinking about it entirely wrong. That, like, a massive amount of people should not be a liability, but is actually the strength and the possibility of change. So, rather than thinking about it as it is very difficult to move uh, 5,500 teachers somewhere, maybe we think about it like 5,500 teachers is an amazing capacity. It is the power of education throughout 5,500 classrooms or more, depending on all of the different roles that we might consider as educator or teacher. And it is kind of amazing to me that we are not crowdsourcing that resource more in order to create change. Rather than saying there is this one outcome that we want, let's force everyone to get there. Maybe we are, sh should be enabling a crowdsourced movement towards something. And I think maybe it's just a, you know, a very small difference in that uh, <laughs> I'm requiring everyone to move to this place, whether it's, you know, Common Core standards readiness, or it is, uh, you know, we're really going to concentrate on uh, early reading uh, scores and things like that. Like, we're really concentrated on closing the achievement gap. Like, all of those things really good to think about and focus on and create uh, opportunities within. But rather than saying everyone has to get to here, if we could instead break down all of the tasks and actually rather than having sort of that individual accountability being the, uh, the sort of mecca of everything that we're trying to do, can we say, we're actually trying to crowdsource the best ways of doing this and leverage 5,500 people? And the, I'm just thinking about the, the teachers in Denver Public Schools. That's like a lot of people, right? So if you are able to say, we want the best practices from these 5,500 people and giving people resources in order to capture them, talk about them, time to talk about them, like, that is the movement in saying, you guys are all experts in teaching. Be experts and show us how it's done. And those of you who do not feel like experts, capture it anyway, and we get to have these coaching conversations or we get to have collaborative conversations. Like, everything is then possible by saying, let's set up a challenge for all of us. And we are going to, rather than disseminate out, and I think this is probably the difference, right? Like saying, from a central location, we have the answers, everyone needs to get to this answer. Rather than doing that, we say, we don't have the answers, we have really worked hard on identifying a problem. Can you help us solve it? Can we crowdsource from your classrooms, from your experiences? Can we do that and, I don't know, think about <laughs> the ways in which we are approaching these problems? So I guess that's, that's what I want to say today, is can we start thinking about the massive amount of educators in our lives, in our districts, in our schools, as the most valuable asset that we have to solve problems, rather than the liability that we sometimes think about them as? And... 
maybe it's only just occurring to me recently and it's occurred to everyone else out there, but the way in which we talk about teachers and teaching, it is, uh, it seems like teachers are a liability and I don't want to think like that because I don't feel that as, as a reality. So if you want to think through this problem, how do we make crowdsourcing uh, solutions to our problems out of this massive amount of educators. We want to think about that. Leave a comment below on YouTube or on Google Plus, um, and I guess share the idea, right? Share the idea with others. Thank you so much for taking part in Learning is Change, um, and I hope wherever you are, you are having an amazing day.